I am Angela Williams, and I am the lead Cincy Family Consultant. My husband and I have four boys. I became a Cincy Family Consultant because the nation has physical therapy, so I needed to be able to be flexible to work around his schedule. That being having your own business, I'm flexible, I can make my own schedule. Before I started on my self-improvement journey, I was going through a rough patch dealing with my mom. She had um, breast cancer, so um, also having four kids and having one who has cerebral palsy. It was a hard time. About 10 years ago, she was a whole different person. That's when Shawnee was born. It made her grow up. They told me he would be a vegetable. They told me he wouldn't walk, he wouldn't talk. And so I was like in a bad place. I was really um, just depressed a lot. I was angry, 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 angry at the doctors, angry at, at, at first I was angry at my mom. And when she, she started to go, it was like, oh my gosh, you're gonna leave me. Back then I did a lot of self-criticism. I knew in order for me to take care of my family and myself, I had to be on a different thinking plan. I decided to, um, find improvement and I found the movie The Secret, The Law of Attraction. What you give out is what you give back, basically. So if you give out positive energy, you'll get positive results. If you give out negative energy, you'll get negative things happening to you. And I started on a 100-day reality challenge the day after. It's applying the law of attraction to your life for 100 days. And I said, okay, well, that's what I need to do. It shifted my whole perspective, my whole life. Nation, he's, um, he's a wonderful little guy. When, whenever we go anywhere, everybody is just in love with him because he's, he's, he smiles so much. You can tell the energy that he has is just positive and loving energy. It's like the law of attraction. Positive gives positive, and that's what he does. And seeing him do things that they said he could not do, it really made me stop and think. So I eliminated can't from my vocabulary. I upgraded mentally by, I turned negatives into positives. I turned I can'ts into I cans, uh, and I stopped all self-criticism. Put myself in a loving position with myself. I upgraded mentally also by setting goals. Like I have a goal now that I have where I want to achieve at least 500 PRV a month. And so far I've been able to do that because I've actually set the goal and put the action into the goal. So goals have really shaped how I run my business, how I take care of the family, how I take care of myself. Um, like I've set a goal to um, meditate every day. And so far I've been able to do that and I can tell the difference. Meditating for me calms my mind. I have so many thoughts that run through my mind a day. And when I meditate, it actually adds a clarity. I upgraded spiritually um, by going ahead and getting self-help books. Also, when I journal, it's like those negative thoughts that you have in your head, if you put them down on paper, they won't be in your head anymore. They're onto the paper. So journaling is very important. I upgraded um, physically by eating better and exercising. When you feel better on the inside, you it will show on the outside. So when you exercise, I mean, I, I don't know about everybody else, but I get, I get energized when I exercise. After I'm done exercise, I'm not tired. I'm like, oh yeah, let's go. As far as her po the positive outlook on life, that's the biggest change. Everything's positive. She has inspired me to do a lot of different things, just positive things for my own health, uh, for my own sanity. Yeah, she's my rock. She's a rock. Having seen her, her blogs and her, her daily affirmations, I try to live them and incorporate them into my life. I try to be more positive. I try to love myself and be grateful for today. Improving on yourself can help you in all areas of your life. And I believe anybody can make time for themselves, whether it's five minutes out of the day, 10 minutes out of the day, it's all about making yourself actually take that time out. Well, I'll say this. I love the person that she's become. She's fun, actually, because my friends in school, they like my mom because she's fun to hang out with and stuff. Oh, she's she's cool. I know. Yeah, he says he loves her.
I think my mom would be very, very proud of me. And I've had so many family members tell me that, like, she would be so proud of you. I think she would be really, really proud, really proud.